Who, who this? We be on fire. We be in so. It's a unique hustle. Big shit. I like this. Big shit. You like that? Big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Oh, she loves it. I know. She check it, man. <laughs> hey, check it, check it, check it, man. Hey, man, it's your boy ECO, man. I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica, man. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Man, we got, we got, we got some guys here today that be having me dying when I be watching their skits, man. I don't know what the hell going on, man, but my day can be going down, and I look over, and these boys falling and acting a fool, uh, screaming and jumping out of places, running through cars. I don't know what they doing, man, at all times. Like stuntmen. <laughs> Check it, man. Cheating ass Myra, man, and Jesse McDonald's in the building, man. What's up? What's up? What's, What's up, going up, on, man? Yeah, man. Cool, man. What you got going on, man? Oh, man, y'all ain't got no handicap ramp out there. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. I knew exactly what you going to come in. This I was just going to say that. That was, a big step. that was a big step for Jesse, man. man I, I had to it. sit down and spin around and get up there. I'm a, you know what? I need to talk to them. They coming tonight on the show. Uh -huh. I'm going to say, you know what? It's a guy threatening to sue y'all. He just yeah, came <laughs> That's a big step, boy. Yeah, man. So, so man, um, man, we down here in ATL, man, and it's dope, man. I mean, you know, it's a lot of talent down here, man. We've been interviewing all day, and you guys, man, you, hey, man, y'all traveling nutcases too, because I already know. Like, I was like, man, where everybody at? Yesterday, it was like everybody was gone. They was either in Texas or they was either in Miami. Miami. And I was like, what the hell, man? You know, you know, for the yeah. week, I'm like, I came on the wrong week, weekend. You know what I mean? Somebody said you should came last care. weekend. Cause you just be going anyway, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all yeah. travel a lot, man. Man, now Jesse yeah. travel a lot. Jesse, he drive, he drive to yeah, the moon if he could. Uh huh. He leave here, here and then he'll call him. He be like, I'm on, I'm on way to Dallas. Then you talk to him. I'm driving to Vegas and yeah. drive like Milwaukee. Yeah, well, he be on the go, boy. Oh yeah. Jesse be on the go. I put that leg on autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What keep? What keep you going like that, man? Watching Myron. Yeah. He, he motivated me because. I be like, dang, I want to do that. And he be steady dropping videos. I was like, man, I can't keep up. So I vibe, vibe off him. His energy that he give through the videos, it touched me. So that's my drive. And I want to be able to show my family, hey, look, I ain't letting my disability stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope right there. Facts, man. Uh, I want to get on to I appreciate that, Jesse. Man. Yeah, yeah, he gave you a hell of a compliment. Was, right. You think you would have said it if he was here? Was it here? No, I don't think he said if I was here. <laughs> I think he's front for the camera, man. Nah, he ain't never. No, I'm just playing. I know. Is that the first time you ever heard him say that? Yeah, no. He told me like he always said how proud of me he is and okay. stuff like that. Keep, he's very motivational. But to hear him break it down like he just did, right? Like, we ain't never said he said that. But in so many ways, he said it. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, he yeah. just broke it down right there. Though, so I'm like, man, yeah, like, yeah, that, wow. that just meant a lot because yeah. that's how I feel with for stand up with him. Yeah, and like, that's what I'm gonna ask me. you. Cause what's your why? Huh? What's that, your why? What you do? What for the videos? For everything. Your, well, my video. comedy, everything. Well, my, I, I want to stop. I want to go back to because I want to get into a little bit of the, his backstory, like what, how he started. Okay, but go what ahead. What made him do what he do? You know what I mean? How did you end up getting to that point? You know, because everybody can't make can break the algorithm like you're doing on Instagram and all that stuff. So how did you do it? Uh, consistency, man, but I had a plan though. You know, I'm born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so. Mm. I heard about it. So yeah, when I first started doing videos, like I was actually like messing around with stand up first. So I got through the little rough times, but I still never took it serious, you know what I'm saying? But then I noticed that in order to like get seen and get noticed, like, I ain't had no money, so I couldn't travel nowhere How to be on stage. How old were you at that time? Uh, well, when I did that, I was, I was, 31. I'm 36. Wow. You're good, boy. I'm 36. No. <laughs> shut, 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 shut the damn I thing down. You're in your 20s. Boy, 36. I just turned 36. I thought That's you in dope, your 20s. Man. Everybody you think that. Young. I'll be doing everything. You know what? Jesse said the same thing. Like, man, you ain't no. Man, but you I didn't hear that even before when I was like, when I turned 30, when I was turning 27. Genetics. Yeah, that's how I did, yeah. That's yeah, dope, I'm, I'm, bro. Old, I'm 30, But look good, man. <laughs> good genetics. Your dad and mom, that's where you got it from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. passed away to our people. They, yeah, they look, but yeah, they look they look young, though. They ain't look their age. Like, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he started getting sick. But yeah, yeah and it's, oh, wow. you know, but he got sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but yeah, look, y'all shot down like this nigga our age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not on his Stop playing, bro. 
bro. You got a long way to go. Yeah. You still wet behind the ears. Don't play. Oh, but look at him, man. <laughs> but it, it came yeah. like, yeah, it, um, I feel like even with that being said, like, cause you know, a lot of these other influences, they be like 25, 26. You know what I mean? But oh, when yeah. I was in, or younger, yeah. But when, when we was that age, like when I was that age, the internet wasn't popping like it is now, like how mm -hmm. I started doing it. And I also feel like back then, I had one kid, my son, 14. Wow. So even when he was a kid, I already knew that I wasn't going to leave him. So even if I would have caught my blessings early, if I could have, I probably would have blew it anyways because I was like, I wouldn't leave my son when he no, was two, no, three, can't, four, can't five. can't blame me for that. I, it took me for him to be 11. You yeah. know, then I was like, he see me grinding, he know what's going on. But even before that, I, um, my plan was to get my city liking me first. Okay. On a comedy level. I was already kind of known as a person, you know, but it was just like a lot of them didn't know I was silly if they didn't really know me. So I was like, let me get myself going on social media. So we had this group called the whole Milwaukee group that was like super messy. And my city like big on like roasting. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So I took everybody that was somebody in my city and I would roast them and put it in that group and make videos with it, and it was going crazy, so that was bringing me attention, but I knew that wasn't gonna be my niche because that was DC Young Fly thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's somebody else's niche, but once that started dying down, I'm like, okay, every time I walk around, everybody in my city like, Myra, Myra, Myra. I'm like, I didn't know where I was going after that. I just kept making any type of videos, but they wasn't even going viral, they wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> Getting like 300 views. I'm like, man, I said, they just wanna see me roast people, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, long story short, just staying consistent, um, I just kept making videos and then one day I just woke up. I don't know, it was God. I just made the, the video getting put out in the rain, getting put out the house in the rain with a dog in my drawers. Like I was, you know, like mm -hmm, she caught me mm -hmm. cheating and hit a million in one day and I was like, on Facebook, this on Facebook. I'm like, oh. I'm like, dang, this crazy. So what I did was when I seen that video slowing down, I made another one. Like I would probably make one like once a week because I would let it build up and then I make another one. And then that one went viral, hit like four million. And I'm like, hold on, man, I think I, I, like, I still don't I know about that Yeah, because I'm like, I'm, I finally <laughs> might have a niche. Because yeah. I didn't know what I was, I really just did something and it yeah. started working. And there's nobody else was doing that. No, it, and I wasn't, I think it just came from me just staying down, never giving up. Like, I could have been like, after those roast videos, when I was trying all those other little videos, just doing anything but staying consistent to try to keep my face. I told myself on Facebook, I said, anytime they scroll on Facebook, I want them to just see my face. Like, just see me. Even if you don't watch it, eventually you're going to click it. Like, who is dude I keep right. seeing? That's how my mind was, you know? And then that's how I, yeah, I built it up. But with those cheating videos, man, it was like I just kept dropping them. And, like, I did one, two, and then three, then four, and five, and six. And they all oh, was four million, five million, one hit 12 million. I'm like, whoa. But nobody knew who I was. They was just like, this dude keep getting caught. Cheating. I didn't have no followers on Instagram, nothing. Like, I had, like, 1,200 followers on Instagram because I didn't care about Instagram until this lady reached out to me and was like, I've been looking for you. I've been following you on Facebook for like, she said like seven months and she said your content is funny and she was like, I do marketing and I think her name like Tamara. I never met her in person and she is from like Philly. She was like, I won't charge you nothing. She said, I can help you get your page built. She said, first of all, you need to clean your Instagram up and get on Instagram and then she was like, you need to uh, come up with a name that fits what you're doing and she was like, basically after what, seeing what your video, she said, you always, you cheating. And me not thinking like that, I didn't, I'm like, it never even hit my mind to even think that to say cheating ass mine. I was just like, I was just happy I was going viral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, she gave me three names and, and cheating ass mine was one of them. So we used that name and then put that in my Instagram. She helped me clean my page up. I sent her all my main videos that was going viral on, uh, on Facebook, mm -hmm. put them on Instagram. And that's back when I was getting, I got my first thousand views on Instagram. I was excited, boy. Hey. I looked up from like three views and it said a thousand. I said, man, I got a thousand views. But now I get a thousand views in seconds. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. Be like, but then I was happy. So I remember all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the grind. I always shot that lady out. I can't point her out to this day. You know, you, you never sent a picture? I never, no. I, on you Instagram. still talk to her back and forth? No, like we was, and then it's like we just, she would disappear. Like she knew what she was talking about. It was crazy. This was, it was like an angel That's or something. an angel, man. Cause That's she helped dope, me get man. the page and then I started, uh, she was showing me how to caption my stuff and then I started, she was like, okay, I'm gonna let you handle it yourself a little bit. And then I started doing it and then I was labeling all my videos from like a third party. Like, guy gets caught this guy, this guy, that. And she came back and she hit me up. She said, you can't be posting your videos like that. She was like, you get, I was getting like 300 some thousand views, but my followers weren't growing. And she was like, that's because don't nobody know that's you. You keep saying, guy, this guy gets caught, this guy gets that. They don't know it's you. You know what I mean? So she made me take them down. And I was like, 
Like, man, come on, man. I got all these views and stuff. Like, she's like, it's bigger than that. You got to get your following girl. So I took all them posts down, guy this, guy that, and all that, with all them viral videos. That was me, though. And my, what is the algorithm? That's how you say it. Yeah, I never yeah. know how to say that word. Algorithm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't. I don't, you don't know how to say that word. You, you done broke it. That's why. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> it dropped so bad. And I was, I was calling her. I said, hey, man, ain't nobody looking at my page no more. It looked dry. You know what I'm saying? But it just motivated me more. But she knew what she was doing. She yeah. was like, you got to get your page going the right way. Don't build it up the wrong way. And then it, it caught flame again. Like, I gave it like a month. It caught flame again. Then World Star was posting me like, Twice a week, so I was catching off of that. Then I was on Shade Room. Then I was on Ridiculousness, all type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, that I'm was like, my favorite video. So did she? Did, I yeah. mean, so you never ever did you pay her for this? No, she. Listen, this she woman. Said she did it for free. This woman popped up out of nowhere, emailed me. I think it was either email or on IG. I don't remember, but she said her name. Said she marketing. Said she from Philly. I want to say her name Tamara. I believe it's Tamara. You didn't. You, don't, you didn't get her last name. No. Cause like the investigator and me like would love to go search for her just so that y'all could meet face to face. And this and this the crazy thing like she, when I had I only had like twelve hundred or eleven hundred followers right. I gave her my passcode and stuff because she knew how to word the stuff and everything like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Really? Because I'm like if she, I say what's she gonna do? Still eleven hundred followers? She can't. That's all I had on Instagram at the time. What she was gonna yeah. take? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like she could if she was if she would have been flawed. But she I'm not really was that. just there to help but I gave her that stuff, man. And then she was like, you can change your uh, password when you're done. She was captioning it so I can catch on how to caption and stuff. I never bought a follower, none of that. I just, all my stuff was authentic. So yes. she just showed me how to caption and stuff, how to clean my page up and stuff. And I was like, she just did it, bro. Like, how long did it take you to build your um, platform to what you have now? Uh, I, my first, I, I'll say, what, my 2017... What's that? 2018, 2019? Four years. Like four years, yeah. But I don't count the first two years because that was, they didn't, didn't nobody know me. Yeah, yeah, that was me running. Nobody yeah. knew me then, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so I really started making noise. I didn't know I was as big as I was, but started making more noise till I moved to Atlanta. And I was around all the people that I was watching. You know what I mean? I was like, man, like, like they, go, right they go Robbie World. They go Reggie yeah. Pickle. That's how I was looking, dog. And they was like, they go cheating ass Myron. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, they so know they, me. They just excited. Yeah, yeah but I didn't know that because I was still in Milwaukee. You know what yeah. I mean? Then that's when. So did so so. How did you two meet? How did y'all link up? How did I, I meet you? That's he was on live, and I I hit him. I he didn't let me join his live, and I like send me your number. I like I want to work with you, and we just stayed in touch. And one day I was in Atlanta, and he was like, I'm in Atlanta. I'm like, well, let's meet up. We met up and the just the chemistry was uh -oh. there and you know how I first seen you though not in person that's how we met but the first time I seen Jesse you was with that other dude with the crutch oh yeah that's what Jay I seen Stickle. I'm like yeah Jay Stickle man I seen a viral yeah. video with two handicapped dudes roasting dude and it was the funniest thing in the world <laughs> I didn't know who he was but it was so funny dog yeah I was yeah like, yeah and I, I found out who they was <laughs> you like yeah I gotta try to figure this out yeah. it was funny dude yeah. it was so funny to see because like to me it was bigger like outside of the jokes it's like just just see them they handicapped but they're they living life they having right. fun yeah, like they how we are yeah, yeah, yeah they stopping them like yeah. to be like oh man I want some sympathy no no, no they don't no. Totally they, different. They are roast with us. They don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I already yeah. know. I'm fool with it. it yeah. Listen, man, I tried to hit him when we was on the way down there with a <laughs> joke, and uh, he hit back. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Jesse ain't gonna play with you, man. <laughs> Stay cocked and ready. <laughs> <laughs> Stay ready. So, so, I, so you just gonna just leave Dallas? You know, I'm not gonna go without saying that you was in Dallas <laughs> with me, and now you just gonna up and well, you know, I don't understand that. I well, really it, don't. It just. ain't that. Is I'm originally from Arkansas. Die hard cowboy came down there following my fiance, but I always wanted to come to Atlanta because it was a better opportunity. So this is your first time living in Atlanta? First time. It was okay. better. The opportunity for me to move here had to be right. Didn't want to move down. Other people wanted me to move, but I didn't want to move down here with no guy. And then he ain't he ain't got his head for the rent. And I knew my disability check was coming. Hey. Hey. My, my little extra money, you know, I didn't want to have my little extra money and he ain't got his half of the check, I mean the bill. <laughs> now I got to take my extra money to help him out. So I just waited till the opportunity was right. Yeah. And 
came and now we're eight. It's home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely enjoyed the show the other night you invited us out to. Oh, yeah. Man, you killed it, it man. What's yeah. that, the Atlanta uh, Comedy, Comedy Theater? Comedy Theater. Comedy Theater, yeah. Comedy yeah. theater yeah. man. Shout out to D-Ray. Big bro, the yeah, always, D-Ray always, was there. always put me on. Yeah, I could tell the chemistry was there, man. He cut for you, too, man. I it's like I like the spot. I really like that spot. And I see it's black-owned business as well. Isn't it? The, the comedy show? Um... No. I have no. no idea who owned it. How do you get that out Gary, of there? Gary. Because yeah. I saw those I Gary, I don't know what Gary is, but um, Gary's the owner. Shout out to Gary. How long Gary has it been there? my first comedy to, um, tour. I was on Rock the Ramp. It was all handicapped people. Rock the Ramp? Yeah, me and Chalk. <laughs> Me, wow. I never heard of that before. No, that's yeah, not the handicap. Is he for real? Is he yeah. playing? No, 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 I'm serious. Bro, oh, that's, right. that's, that's what I said. Bro. Jesse that's, is Jesse. No, this, this one, Gary was at Uptown Comedy Theater. I was kind of just now really getting back into the comedy full fledged. And he called me Charles Walden out of Philly and um, Gary Rose, I mean, Damien Rosier out of New York. All right, rest in peace. But he put all three of us on the show, and it was like, it was like rock the ramp, and now like everybody was handicapped, so it went, it went good. But I mean, they never put it out. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, what what was that first uh, uh, moment that you felt like, dang man, I done went viral, man, people watching me, these people oh. looking at me. You're- <laughs> When I did the stripper, when I did the stripper in Dallas, yeah. The, the crazy thing is, it when we we was on a blue sticker comedy tour. It was me and two other guys on sticks, and we only had like 30 people in there. But the energy was so high, and it's like, I told, I kept telling the guy, hey, look, come and do this, do this joke with me, it's, I'm stripping for the women. And he was like, man, ain't nobody doing that. I said, we're gonna catch fire with it. He finally came, and I put him up there, and he came up there and do it, but I had to calm him down, because I didn't want him to get too rowdy with the girl and her <laughs> boyfriend being there, and he can't whoop two oh. handicapped guys with sticks. <laughs> <Dark shit. laughs> that won't be right, but um, Jay Stickman came and did the video, and the next morning the girl said, oh, man, the video doing numbers. And it just went up from there, and everybody started saying handicapped dudes on crutches. Wow. And that's dope, man. So how- is, it, is it hard to find people to um, do the skits with y'all? Cause that seemed like y'all be not, y'all nah, quick with it. For me, like like for me, it's it's easy for me. Like Jesse just breaking into the skit thing, kind of in a sense. You know what I mean? So that's why it's good. Like that I that I got a, like a bigger fan base on social media because he helps. Like I said, with stage, it, it's a lot of people. He gonna break in. I'm breaking into that with him. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it works hand in hand. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But. Like Jesse, so many people hit me up about him when I started doing skits with him, which is good. You know what I mean, man? Where your cousin? It's a cousin. Then they like, is he really handicapped? Is he <laughs> really he handicapped? Around, yeah. Huh? Is he really yeah. handicapped? Is he really handicapped? I'm like, nah, yeah, that's that's real. They that's said, real. yeah, they thought he was playing. I'm like, wow. nah. I said, nah, I said, he really like that. That's real, so he man. Can't stand up too long by himself. So yeah. just, he can't stand up too long by himself. He's gonna fail. And after they see me in the videos with me, everybody be like, hey, I need you to do a video with me. I'm like, I'm okay. That's I'm ready. But I need you to fall. <laughs> they want you to fall every to video. Fall. Jesse got to fall every video. They, wow. got, they, they want me to fall. That's his trademark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got to so. fall. They be like, what you going to fall? You going to fall? Jesse like, he only probably, I know, fall 16 times yeah. to get a skip right. One skip. Woo. But, uh-huh. but he got he got me one time. We, I stayed in character, though. Yeah. When they got out the steps. Oh, my God, man. We was in my house shooting a skit. And Jesse, Jesse, his, it was his idea, so this is why I ain't feel bad. I ain't tell Jesse. <laughs> no, listen, I ain't tell Jesse he should slide down the stairs on his chest. He said he said he could do it because we oh, got carpet no, steps. Y'all crazy. He, he said it. He I said, said it, though. He said, I can do it. Yeah, he said, I can do it. He said, I can, I'm slide down on my chest. I said, I kept asking, can you do it? You show? You show Jesse? Yeah, yeah, I can do it. So he did it. I don't know if it was water on our. I don't know, man. The carpet, so it couldn't be no water. <laughs> oh, man, you, you slid hard, then. What, what? That boy was going slow, then it's just picked up like. Because the skit was. I, when I got out the house, I was coming back in to get something to leave. I forgot I forgot exactly how the skit went, but when I came back in, I was coming back in to finish like my little last lines of the skit. And it was, too, it was like too late to even help him. He was like, and the bottom of six coming down, like 90 miles an hour. Ooh. And I knew it was a real fall because his face was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, he ain't never made that noise. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, and, and me and uh, the little, the young uh, fella that was recording for us, 
we just dying laughing because then I'm laughing already because I'm like, oh, this is a real fall. Man. And then he turned around and had a big old cherry on his head. Oh, <laughs> man. On his forehead. Right? Well, so I, I really started laughing hard then. Well, I was, I, it was, I, man, it was over when I seen that. And then he like, he like a kid. He, he did this. He said, <laughs> you know, you, you're like, hey, you're like, oh, man, you know, it's there, Jesse. 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 Then he gonna put a do-rag on. And then he was like, I can't wear the do-rag no more because it keeps sticking to the scab. Like, <laughs> what you thought he was gonna do, Jesse? <laughs> Boy, y'all be characters, man. Hey, but I, I, still in like, care. I still stayed in, into character. Oh, my God. Yeah. About the whole video. So, so, like, when you when you do these things, you write it out? Oh, oh no. yeah. How do you come up How with ideas? How do you ideas? come up with a skit? Like now, if we just be talking, something pop in your head. You do it while it's funny. Yeah. Like me, okay. if I say something funny right now, and we like, oh, that's a skit. We got to do it while we still think it's funny. Because if I wait till next week, unless it was just gut busting funny, I'd probably be like, it ain't funny no more. Yeah, it like, don't be funny it. no more. Yeah, you don't remember it. It don't be as funny. You don't remember all the punches. Yeah. yeah. And then on the spot is is better because it's it's in the moment. The energy is there. Yeah. So, so you always have to have the camera ready, everything ready. Oh, we got we got the phones. Phones. We do everything with these. We shoot, shoot now. Oh, okay. And that's and and, and we are there in technology. Mm. Yeah, you can do it. You the thing is having a cameraman. You gotta have unless you got one is on on I'm deck already. All the time. Like, because it'd be a lot of people that want to work with you. But they kind of just really want to be around you. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know, you really you find out after you see their work ethic once they get comfortable with you. Is they comfortable? Then it's like they busy or they do film it. They taking forever to get it back to you. So I'm mm -hmm. like, I ain't got time to wait on nobody. I, I'm that's, grinding. That's the best so I'm thing about and do you edit your phones. own stuff? We uh, edit right there on the spot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do it. Edit, uh, edit and airdrop it. Let, right let me ask you this. So uh, because I see I, when I think of you uh, and what, how you started, I think about Country Wayne. Uh, that whole all y'all y'all got a movement going on man listen man you that's one of the Wayne that's my homie too like shout out yeah. to Country Wayne he Good uh job. he was one of the, my motivations cause he was the one who, he the first person I seen blow up on Facebook but I watched him from when he used to do the videos having the phone like this and he only used to have it on his face like you mm -hmm. know now he do full blown skits yeah. and stuff but back mm -hmm. when he first started he always had the phone like this and he talked to it, you never, he be talking to his brother, whoever he doing, like whatever he doing. But it's, yeah, it's, it always was in his face. <laughs> but he motivated me, that's why I said, I'ma just keep, I want them to keep seeing my face because even before I knew who Wayne was, I kept seeing him on my timeline. See his face. And I was like, mm -hmm. six months then passed though. And I'm like, it took a long time. And I finally clicked like, man, who is this dude I keep seeing on my timeline because people were sharing it. So I finally clicked on him and he was funny. And yeah. then I was a fan since, and then I was like, that motivated me. I wasn't doing videos then, though. Okay. So I was like, oh, man, I said, man, I got to make my face be seen as much as I seen his face. Because even if somebody started looking at it, man, they either going to like you or they're not going to like you. But either way it go, my mind was just, just stay on the timeline. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there's some people that don't like you at first, and then they fall for you. Once they, they see your grind, they, 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 learn, they learn to love you. How, how important is self-awareness, man? Like knowing, knowing how to understand you and that comedy that you do. Like how is that important to it, you? It's, it's real important yeah. because if you're not comfortable with yourself in doing what right. you're going to do, how is the next person going to be that comfortable? Like me, right. I fall. Like I be doing a video. I'm like, look, Myron, I'm gonna do this video. I'm gonna fall. He said, you show? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fall. He said, man, Jesse, look. Right. And then sometimes we be in certain places. I'm like, I'm gonna fall. He's like, you gonna fall in the street? It's concrete out here. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I'm comfortable with falling. I know how to fall without hurting myself. So you know the you know when it's time to fall. Mm -hmm. And 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 I seen you get out the car like you were gonna try to leave a few times. I don't know what that was about. Like Where? he was like he was the, walking the, like he was leaving, walking away from Oh the runaway. Oh, run away. Yeah, they love we gotta do some more though. <laughs> We ain't gonna tell you why I'm running away, but I'm, I'm running away for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's running away, man, and I always catch him, get in the car, and I find stupid ways to stop him. Yeah, well, I can't wait to see more, because I know now that y'all down here together. Oh, I'll be man, we're gonna to go see crazy, 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 man. Line, man. Yeah. So, How yeah. often do you put out content? Man, I got a phone full of stuff, so my goal is, honestly, I would drop every day, but sometimes, it depends, because Instagram algorithm all messed up now. It's like, it's kind of messed up now, like, versus from when I first got on there. Mm -hmm. When I first got on there, it was like, it was crazy. Like, you was just shooting through the roof. Now, it's like, they, I don't know, man. It's like, sometimes Why they hold that stance. It's weird. I don't know, I, because I think they want you to pay for promotion through them. That's what I think. I think it's some type of, yeah, I, I do think, now I understand I think that, business. And now, now yeah. that they're paying, you're following um, now that they're paying you to 
um, for all the followers and stuff and everything. Mm -hmm. Now they have fake pages, and you were like, man, my following up, and then all of a sudden your following dropped down a long way. You were like, man, what is that? So I, what I heard is like, it's fake pages that I have mm -hmm. here. They go through your page, and all them fake pages, they go to taking them off your page. Really? I always so. say all of this stuff is a gimmick because there's so many times when we'll test it, we'll run out here and get, say, 20 people to subscribe to YouTube. They don't come on and until later. And then we look on there and like, okay, it ain't growing. Or even on Instagram, we like, no, know it's we not growing. You can't be you looking. Man, listen to this. If you go look at your, if like, this how messed up Instagram is now. Like, you go look at your, uh, your insights and it'll tell mm -hmm. you like, it's weird because this, this, it was never like this. I was always just gaining. Like you said, you're a gain. Like one day you can be at, uh, I'm just saying, 967,000 followers. The next day you had nine hundred, like 962. You like, I just lost 5,000 followers like that. Like right. it, it, was, right. it never was like that. Like you might lose a couple here and there, but it ain't no, what you telling me just 5,000 people That's at one time just so said, ridiculous. you know what? I, today, everybody just, just unfollow cheating ass mind. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I know that don't work But like you know that. what someone told us, and I this is what he does. Um, he said, check your stuff daily, record it, screen shoot it, whatever. So you have proof because especially YouTube. So you can contact them and say, hey, and they'll fix it. They'll look into it and they'll fix it, whether they have to pay you for something or. <clears throat> but he said a lot of people don't track it. A lot of people don't look don't at it and screen it. shoot it. We don't. Yeah, we don't. And yeah, if you don't have proof, they're not going to do anything. <laughs> Facts. Oh. We just so, saying it. Yeah, just but you show them, like, what the heck is this? They, they got you questioning them and you But it's like, who have time to screenshot everything? Because yeah. nobody ever knows when well, that's, that's going to happen. Out of, uh, Miss, I he out of remember. Mississippi or somewhere, ain't he? Because that's what Look. he does, help people with their YouTube. He study them, like, that's what he do. On, on Instagram, it'll say, in your insights, it'll say you gained 5,000. But lost forty five hundred followers, so you really yeah. only gained five hundred. Yeah, they be like what? Like that don't even don't make, make sense. sense. It be stuff like that, like for it's real. Not look at it like how, like so. So what do you think about TikTok? TikTok. See TikTok, you can gain easy on TikTok. This is what I learned. You can gain easy on TikTok, but they're strict. They take everything down. Yeah, because yeah. now they take yeah, everything did, down, man. The video we did where we did to take that take the pup daddy video, mm -hmm. and I failed. He moved out the way. They took it down. Mm -hmm. Just because he moved out the way when I was following, and no, he stepped on me. Yeah, okay. but that's what I'm saying. It'd be weird, like. But then I'd be going viral. People were telling me they see me on TikTok, and I'm like, I only got 150 some thousand followers on TikTok right now, right? But it's just like I was going viral on other people's pages from the same video they took off my page. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing I post got took down, but somebody else, but me. The only reason I don't be caring no more, like at this point, I don't be caring because I'm like. I didn't did videos enough, so I know I got a, like I got a strong face card that shows like when I'm in public and stuff like that. So that's a good thing. Yeah. So it's like anybody take my video and post it, don't tag me. It's gonna be somebody that know me that can that tag that me in the comments. Tag. So people that yeah. don't know me be right. like, they be like, oh, that cheating ass Myron. Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Or they call me the fofo because of the little slow motion with the little yeah pistol. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I seen that. They be saying so, that. <laughs> so what's the um? So what's the craziest thing that's done happen with you? Like, and not just you, but you also Jesse. Like, what's the craziest thing a fan ever did? You know, by approaching you, you know, like. No, nah, they be aggressive. Oh wow! Oh my God, man! <laughs> they be the dudes. Oh, they ain't no chicks. Like the chicks nah. speak and stuff like that. But the dudes, man, they, don't let them be drunk. I was in shock. No, what was that? Uh, Miami, dude. It was a big, big, big dude too. So I'm like, he was aggressive. I'm like, man, I, don't know. I had to just let what him be aggressive. What did he say? No, it's just how he do. Like, bro, like, what? Man, it's like, it's like, I was mad in my head. Like, God damn, man. Like, I don't want to say nothing this crazy. You just had to let him be aggressive. I just let him be aggressive. I'm just <laughs> watching him. He got his arm around. I'm like, yeah, dog. No. I wanted. I really like, man. Ooh, man. <laughs> But he, you ain't gotta do all that, bro. Just say, like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, bro, I rock with you, bro. Like, man, you crazy. Oh, wow. I'm like, dog, man. Like, dude, but the thing is, I got him back because I had a show when he was at the show. So I'm in my safe zone now. I'm on stage. He oh, you got him? Hell yeah, yeah, I brought that up. Well, I talked about him like a dog, man. I'm like, man, don't touch me no more. I kick your ass. Like, I'm, I know you can get to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> dude, dude, dude. I know it. Did you ever do a stand up? Did you ever do a stand up? Did you ever do a stand up and somebody got like, really mad at you like want to fight you because of something you said only when i first first started this before the video because i didn't know see now with experience i know how to i know how to uh talk about it. talk about somebody without yeah. like and without uh how you say it? without um offending, offending them oh, yeah. so there's a technique behind everything yeah. oh yeah because oh. before me when i first came out I look when you first start coming like me i'm already like i'm real witty and i'm like 
just don't give a damn. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm looking at comedians. I see Mike Epson them say the B word and all that. So I'm like, but they who they are, I'm not thinking that. I'm like, I can say it. So when I was in Mark, I was at the show, I'm like, I'm like, look at this beat right here. <laughs> First thing I say. Like, cause I'm thinking it's, in my mind it's funny. Like, I, instead of saying how I would say it now or whatever, I wouldn't say that. I don't even say that word no more exactly. like to my women. But I felt I had to learn, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, B she was like, I ain't no bitch. I'm like, yes, she is. Bitch. Like, I'm just going. <laughs> Bro, well, it was so bad. One of the season comedian put me aside. He said, "Man, what the hell are you doing, man?" He said, "You gotta go apologize to that lady." Man, I went to apologize to that lady. She accepted it, but I can tell on her face she really was like, "Get out my face!" And it was wow. an older lady, not old, but she was older than me. Yeah, right. you know you what I'm saying? Have it. Yeah, because I I didn't know nobody. Didn't know. To me, it was funny. I'm like, <laughs> I said it like at least I caught about ten of them in like thirty seconds. Man. Shut up, B. You the B. I know you the B. Come here, B. This is true. I, I'm so embarrassed about it now, but I can laugh about it now because no, it's like it's been years ago now. Yeah, and then another time I came on stage and it was a whole bunch of big girls. Like you know, what I mean, you can yeah. you can joke about big girls, but you got but you got to know how to do it. it. Yeah, I, I, look, I walked right outside and it was like, it's a, it's a, it's a pack of fat. This <laughs> dude is going in. First thing I say when I come outside, I come out. I, I'm not outside, but on the stage. The first thing I do, I come out and I see him. I say, "Cut the music!" I'm like, "Cut the music!" Oh man. damn! And I look up and I say, "I say it's a big pack of fat." Oh, you know what I'm Everybody else laughed, but they was like, they was standing up like, "F you, you skinny mother." They was going in. Oh god! And the messed up part is I only had five minutes, Jesse, so I waste my whole five minutes talking to them. <laughs> like, man, That's shut funny. up, man. Did we ain't talking to them. Huh? Did they walk out? No, this is this is all before I was cheating as Myron. This is when I was just Myron. Myron. <laughs> this is way before. By the time I became cheating as Myron, I wasn't doing nothing. I won't do nothing like that now. Yeah. Like, I know how to. Even if I was to say something to somebody, and I see, I can just read their face and their energy. If I say something and they ain't feeling it, it's just like I just let it go. I ain't even gonna. Yeah. Force it. So what about you? You had. A, I know you had something for me. Ah oh, man, uh, I was selling merchandise at the show. <laughs> And this girl, I said, you want to buy this shirt? She said, F the shirts, I want you. Ooh, I say, I say, I got a fiance. She say, F you, you old retarded head. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's been drinking. I said, she tried. Hey, she cursed me out horribly. I was like. At least you were honest. I was, so why is she cussing you out? I was like, man, I like my woman wow. crazy. She shoot me and you. Hey, man, <laughs> that's that, care. That's, that's man. But see, that's funny. I ran into one like in Memphis not too long ago now, and the guy was on the front row, and it's a joke that I do, you know what I'm saying, with the couples, but I use my music. And I asked him, he said, gone with your little jokes now. <laughs> now, me, you know, sometimes they'll say it, but you can still kind of go. And I kept going. He said, Look, I told you, gone with your little jokes. It ain't it ain't on me, it's in me. When he said that, the whole crowd got real quiet. Or whatever, and I was like, "Oh, he one of them guys. He gonna one one the one that that to try to come and fight you." Yeah. So I'm like, I gotta know how to play it to where I can pull him back to back me to because you. yeah, yeah. Because Facts. so I was like, "Man, look, man. oh, you don't want me to talk to your girl? Well, let me tell you." And every time I say his name, I look gone. I'm like, "Look, let me tell you what happened to me." <laughs> and I tell him the situation of what happened to me. Instead of talking to the crowd, I made it like I was talking directly to him, mm -hmm. and he kind of came back because the stuff I was saying was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I came back with my music jokes, it took him all the way over. And he came back, and at the end of the show, he was the first one at my show. I'm at my table, said, "Man, let me get one of everything." Wow, I'm like, oh, I appreciate I, that's it, it man. Crowd, that's, that's something that y'all got a gift, man. man. He's a you, different. This dude different, no, though. Let me tell y'all, Jesse different on stage, for one. But his hustle, he oh, don't yeah. teach me so much with that. Because, I, because, yeah, because I had to learn that. Because because I started getting clout so fast. Like, the things that he be hustling, like, he be searching stuff. I'll be like, I, in my mind, I'm like, man, I ain't gonna beg them to buy my shirts. And that's what I was thinking before being around Jesse. Then I'm yeah. watching Jesse. I'm like, Jesse know big celebrity. Jesse's known. Like, yeah, Jesse yeah, knows yeah, I people. Know. You know what I mean? I so, so they humbled me. I'm like, man, what? Like, what are you doing? This is what I'm telling myself. What are you doing, man? You, you better get to a table and yeah, sit yeah, yeah. You go a long way, and you interacting with your fans. That's right. Like, That's you know exactly what, I mean? what he's doing. He taught, Trust me, I'm learning a lot from Jesse. Man. Wow. You know I, know, I, mean? I seen him the other night. He was in rap form. I don't know what he said though. When they would go out the door and they didn't buy something, he had this. Specific... Your car won't start. Oh, he tripping. Like, like, no, no. He said that. That's, that's his yeah. thing. He you said, don't speak. I hope your car won't start. I'm like, oh man, it's free. They was laughing too. It costs, you, it costs you nothing to say hello on your way out. If I'm good and you like my show, at least say, hey, how you doing? I will buy something, but I ain't got it right now. Yeah. Or not right now, you know what I'm saying? 
But it's the same way how you acknowledge everybody because he had people at a table buying stuff, but everybody who's passing, he's still acknowledging everybody. everybody. No, that's what he do. But you, I was with I was with him before, well, a few times, and and people be looking at me weird because they like. Because if they know me, they go, oh, Gina Myra. Then we had Kerwin's show and stuff yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? No, they, they, I'm not on the show. I'm coming to support Jesse. Mm-hmm. I'm helping Jesse set his stuff up. I'm yeah, helping Jesse. Yeah. He like, Myra, can you give me a medium? I'm in there. I look like this worker, but I don't think like that. This is my No, woman. no, right. you but humble yeah, yourself, you, too. You talk and you get it. Yeah. This is after I've seen. I'm like, I got to start doing this. But I'm. you talk and do everything you do. Just let me know what you need. I'm over here. Yeah, Somebody yeah. want a picture, I'll take a picture. <laughs> I that's gotta get it. back to this box. That's like, right. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm, that, that's humble. And, I, and it was like that, that, but they don't know that shows a lot in your character to the people that's watching you too. Like, oh, like he helped because a lot of them people won't do that. Like, no, no. Like, man, but get, digging in this box for him. No, like, man, it's so many times, man. I, I, I remember I owned seven stores and I still was selling clothes out the truck. Mm-hmm. It didn't matter about that. I mean, I we had we had and money, I loved it. and she would yeah. She pushed me back to the streets when I didn't chill out. It. She mm-hmm. know we can go to the streets and make money. They are gonna buy from me because that's how we started it. You know, you what go I mean? to your customers. I, you go to people years, who love right? you. You know, you, you yeah. don't always sit on and wait for them to come to you. They feel more Facts. comfortable when when you got when you hand. to them and you hand in hand. They feel yeah. spoiled. Now, now I, I, <laughs> one show we went to, um, it was here in Atlanta, and I was headlining. And they say, Myron, they say, oh, Myron, you going up? I said, nah, I'm just here chilling. I said, nah, he going up. He said, no, I ain't, I ain't ready. I said, oh, yeah, you ready. <laughs> He's like, but dog, I need That's you. That's why I like Jesse, man. Put him up. You know what I'm saying? You put him up to man, He made me go. He wouldn't let me take no for an answer. They asked me. I was like, hold on, let me see, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just man. here for Jesse. Ain't Jesse that like, something, though, how, how, how both of them got two different I worlds and they married those yeah, worlds? Yeah, Jesse like, it. Jesse like, you going up. I said, man, call. He said, he, he going up. He's like, I'm like, all right, Dad. Like, Dad. Like, I love it. But he did it, and it motivated me, man. And guess what? I went up there and then went up there and killed it. You killed yeah, it. Yeah, because I know this is the thing, though. I know I can do stand up, and I be killing when I do go on stage, though. That's why he rock with it. He know it. I just be like, I gotta get a drive for it again. Yeah. Because I, 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 that was my drive first, and then when I got going crazy on the internet, I was like. Oh man, forget that. But now, once I seen all the other Instagram comedians, I'm like, I don't want to be in no box like them. I, I want to be, you know, I want to be a jack of all trades. I want to do everything. You know what I'm saying? The way your actions is, I keep thinking about Chris Tucker. Everybody not, say that. I'm not playing. <laughs> no, but everybody say that. They were saying that yesterday. Not uh, that you, you look saying. like him, but your actual my mannerisms. Just, you know, man, man. That's, that's, but that's my favorite comedian. So a lot of really? stuff I probably do is probably I'm not even on purpose. I ain't never sat down and was like, let me just twitch and all that. Right. Like I just. But I, I keep know. getting that. I'm like, dang, this dude is my man. Here, this is like the With all the facial expressions and everything else. Yeah. But I know that's why people energy. laugh. They told me that. The energy, energy and the facial expression. That's why I told them. I said, it's comedians out here with way better jokes. Like, Jesse got a full set. Yeah, no. Like, Jesse yeah, he got man. jokes, boom, boom, boom. I have jokes. I don't got as much jokes as Jesse. Jesse, yeah. like, he a different type of beast. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I know my energy, my personality, my facial expressions and all that stuff, it carries me. So I might say something that's not even a joke part of my set. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just something stupid, and yeah. they're gonna crack up because of how I'm looking. But I don't even know how I'm looking until, you know, I feel like in the skits. So, you, so you don't there. go in front of the mirror and it's like, no, and it's so you can see. Like Jordan Jackson, Jordan Jackson, Jordan was here this he morning. the one who brought it to me. He was like, he said, man, you don't understand your facial expression be priceless. He said, when you sit there in them cheating videos, or when he said, when you waiting to snap and when you be snapping and all that, he said, man, it's priceless. Man. He said, that's what they laughing at, man. You be so man. mad, and I'm like, then I started paying attention to it myself. Yeah, was but right. I was just being myself, so I'm like. I ain't, I never seen it until they brought it to me. Wow! Then you hate watching, watching your own videos? No, I like I actually like watching my own videos, but I don't. Certain ones I laugh at, and then other ones I be like, I look at it and I be like, I this is a good one. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But, 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 but it'd be a video that did good already though to the internet, and I'd be like, man, I could have executed that better. I'd be dang near want to do it twice. Yeah. <laughs> but when you perform, have you all, have either one of y'all ever performed? Because you. Look at everybody in the crowd, right? Whenever you're performing, or do you just look at the people in the front? No, I zone out. I watch everybody. Watch everybody. I I look at everybody. Have you ever seen someone that you're telling jokes and like there's somebody in the crowd that's not laughing? Yeah. Yeah, you see that? Uh You just, I don't know. And when I find them, I keep gunning, just make sure I'm going to get them. Mm-hmm. I, I've got to make you laugh. So really, that's motivation. Way. That's yeah, motivation. Yeah, because you talking and you looking in the audience, you, you looking. Like me, I kind of zone out anyway, but it depends on the lighting on the stage. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some of that lighting, you can't even really see way back there. You can only see the front, but. And then a lot of times, I tell I tell them, like, um, depends on where I'm at, I tell them bring the lights up. They're mm-hmm. like, why? I like because it's dark and I can't stand you know, up in the dark. Bro, Jesse but know a lot. You turn the lights up, you know what I'm saying? You can, I can see, see everybody. But even at a comedy club where people don't know the lights are shining bright on your stage, 
the closer I get to the edge, the further the lights go over my head and I can see the crowd. Okay. okay. So he just told me something, because Jesse, Jesse be like, the show be at nine o'clock. Jesse's like, we're gonna get to the show at six. Like, man, what we going at six for? He trying to make sort of sound check, right? He's setting up his booth. Mm. He doing he doing everything right to be what ready. Like, what you supposed no, to do? No, that's what I said. That's why I said he taught me that, because me, the show at nine, man, I, and I ain't first. I, I ain't gotta go to 930, 940. I'm the last nigga going on stage. That's how I felt. But Jesse like he didn't, man, he touched me. He teaches me a lot when it comes to the stand up game. That's mm -hmm. the whole game, man. I just love the way the vibe is. I know already great things about to happen. He down in the ATL. I'm going to be pressuring him. I got his number. I will worry the hell out of him. He, get, <laughs> he has the nerve to answer. You know what I mean? Wow. He answers, and I'll be, and you answer. When I, I first am. got your number yeah. and I start calling you, I'm like, damn, he don't know me. But it's been people like that. Right. But it's certain ones that, they they don't they, it's it's special. See, That's all like, I can say. It's Jesse, special. Jesse Jesse never introduced me to no like no flawed person, okay. no weird person. So yeah. even when I answered, I ain't know. I, like that a call like that, I'm thinking like, man, I, this might be business or something. If it'd have been weird, I would have just hung up. <laughs> <laughs> but then when you told me who you was, yeah, and all that, and yeah. yeah, talk. I already knew, boom. So now that's why you call. I answer because he already he already vouched for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We be we be he already vouched for you heavy already. So it was like. Let's do, dope, let you do something weird on your own, like just call, like, hey man. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what you can do. I can't see you doing. Like, <laughs> no. Not no weird, like you, you know, know what I'm saying? No, I'm like Jesse, man. What's wrong with your boy, man? Dude, like, yeah, yeah. let me tell you something, man. I I'm gonna be honest. Like, you can show. call you in town. He like, tell him to keep. He's like, don't name drop nobody because yeah, yeah, you know all those people don't tell them because they might not like them. Mm, I said, yeah. what? Yeah, I had to tell him. Yeah, I listened to him. You know what I'm saying? To know who you can work with. Sometimes they the person like that you introducing yourself to, like, yeah, I can work with Chief yes, Myron, yes, I can work with Jesse McDonald. They don't they like They may not person. even like us. And Fact. then now you be like, I didn't work with them. Like, man, I'm not going to put much in front of you because I don't do I don't like them. So, so I got to stop doing that. I stopped yeah. that immediately. I yeah. said, I'm in school right now. The, the, the less you say to people when you're trying to work with them, sometimes is the, is the better because the more they want to get to know about you. You can say, hey, look, I do this. Here go my uh, Instagram, here go my social media. Now they go on there and go to looking. Yeah. But See, that's, I do that even when I like, like when I meet women, I can say for the most part, because like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, if I meet a woman, I don't come to them like, hey, what's up? I'm Jesus, yeah. Myron, follow my Instagram. If I meet you, I'm just gonna say, I'm Myron, call me. You figure it out later. You know what I'm saying? Figure yeah, it out yeah, later, because yeah. at the end of the day, I don't even want you to, like Look at me, me like that because of that. Yeah, you see you're, that. You're different. Yeah, you I, see that right away. I, I they gonna be like, else. oh, they gonna want to talk to you just cause or whatever. Now you didn't made it messed up because now I'm looking at you different. I'm I'm gonna do what I do and I'm gonna leave you. But I don't wanna I don't wanna be like that. Order. Do you, know you ever I mean? do you ever meet a woman um and you try and you like her but she feel like you gonna be cheating because of oh yeah they always say that they say that but what they expect yeah. I can get away with it. I get a free pass that's my name you knew that was my name for you that day. <laughs> That's the first thing I would say. You knew my name was Cheating Ass Myron before you even. Yeah, no, man. man, I mean, your comedy is something else. It's in your voice, bro. Like huh? yo, this yes. dude comedy in his voice. I've been sitting there dying. I, I'm, I'm dying that. over the fact he ain't even saying nothing. And I'm over here tripping hard as hell. No, but I, this how I talk for real. Ain't this how I talk? <laughs> yeah. No, but they told me that when I was in Houston and stuff like that. When I'm down there, they was like, somebody yeah, in on the board. They said, they said, you must be a comedian. I said, why you say that? They're like, just how you talk, how you just act. I said, but I don't even see that. You know what that's good? Because that's a woman, so that means some women look at me not as a joke. Right. <laughs> they look at me like, look at you, they see that's, that's a man right there. They see looking like, that's a man until I say I do comedy. <laughs> I don't want no woman to walk up to me. Well, this is a grown woman back here. Well, you grown, but you're a kid still, but and she's walking here and she's like, you look goofy as hell. I'm like, what, what, what that mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, she just said it, like, you look, you look goofy as hell. I'm like, what? It'd be funny because that's a man right there. They, they want like, to conversate with me and I'll have my crutch up. As soon as I stand up, they be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Being a comedian, though, um, do y'all find it hard for people to take you serious when you're trying to be serious? Certain mm. people like like me, you you know, just, like, like this me. nigga, right there, yeah, you know. But like that nobody, no. if somebody don't know you, like like I'm an Aries. This is what people don't know about me. Like it's crazy because the silly. I don't know what Aries is. You is I'm oh, Aries. so you like that? So what I what I know is like Aries. Like I know we. Nigga, I'm the goofiest person in the world, but I get mad at the simplest stuff, and I get mad fast. For real? Yeah. Man, what? What's, what's, what what you, you know? Mad, what I'm saying, like, no, look at dude laughing. Look, you got mad you say, who? Who let the toilet seat down? <laughs> no, it ain't nice saying that, man. Just look at his slow ass hands. He can't even catch it. He said, 
<laughs> boy, these boys See, something else. The funniest else. thing is that we have we like, have different humor. We have like, different humor. She don't like well, I, we don't. Yeah, we've been together Him twenty years. Him and they'll laugh at daughter, everything together, laugh. and I'll be sitting down like. It ain't even trip. We be sitting there having us a so good time. She the one, she the one we got to get to a show because that's if we make her laugh, then it's like you okay, do we it again. Laugh. Yeah, go I, know, I, I love she comedy shows, that. but I hate comedy shows because sometimes when I go and everybody's laughing, I'm looking at them like my the two. Okay, I've been to multiple comedy shows, and the two people, only two people that stand out to me that I loved what they did is Eddie Griffin. Love Eddie. I love Eddie. Eddie. I love, I love Eddie. Eddie. Because Eddie. Eddie Griffin not only told jokes, he told you so many facts see, about. You, see, you you want them political people. You want you want to date <laughs> some Eddie, Eddie Griffin. I like D. you. D. Yeah. I like that deep yet. I, I just don't make like you laugh. Yeah. I yeah. watched him. But he I didn't like him. He was dry to me. He wasn't funny. When I say that, that was, to me, he be too deep. Like too deep. I like no. I, Eddie I Griffin was funny to me. He was funny, but. At the end is when he gave me a lot of, he didn't just do it up front. At the end of his whole show, he gave us a lot of facts where I'm like pulling up my phone like, is that real? Is he, is, is that for real? So I like that. And then my next person is Monique. He was even shocked because I drug him to the Monique show because I didn't even know if she was funny or not. I was just, I went and he was cracking up laughing. He enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it too. See, what people don't know, when you go to see a lot of these big time comedians, they got their set jokes. They already know when they're going to make you laugh. Sometimes right. they write jokes and they be like, look, I'm going to throw this out here and see how they react to it. So you throw them new jokes out there in the beginning to see how you react to it. If you, if you go with it, then they're going to keep it. Oh, God. But if not, then they may be like, you know what? We're going to go ahead. I'm going to go and turn it up. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, so you know right. who wasn't funny to me? Who? Is no, you said that might be their home boy. Oh, what might be their home boy? No, 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 no. no, 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 no but no, whatever she says, her opinion. She yeah, no, no. It's she my, my show. opinion. Who is it? Who is it? Give it up. Is his name Red Fox or Fox Red? You talking about Red? Oh, to my Red. Oh man, no, not Red Fox. No, she talking about Red. Comedian Red. Yeah, Red Grant. Um, he real light skin, real light. Yeah, he got freckles. Yes, got the gaps. He made me keep my gap in my mouth. Cause he got the gaps in his mouth. He said, like, "Man, look, God put these gaps there." I mean, feel like maybe just that been... show the, the good jokes that he was doing. He's but you can't satisfy he's everybody. He's everybody has different sense of humor, and I know that. That's what I said. She said the people that made her laugh. But she was there. Oh, no, 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 no. I saved the best for last. You don't count. You don't count. You know how observant I am. Because when she said that, only two people made me laugh. And I, at first thing I thought in my head was she said that. I was like, they just said that was Jesse. I'm just one of the two. Oh, but I didn't want to say that out loud. I didn't want to say that out loud. Then she said Eddie Griffin. And Red Fox. No, no, no and, 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 Monique. And, uh, and Monique. Yeah, she ain't say no. Listen, Jesse, listen, man. Yeah, yeah, Hold no on, Jesse. but y'all, y'all cut me off. Let me get out. You said two people. You said two. No, 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 no. He's my favorite. Okay, so the two is otherwise two well, people what, that what? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you should have said that. Yeah. 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 Said that. Okay. Well, okay. Do you really? <laughs> do you? I mean, he two don't really don't count. Know. To me, like when I'm thinking, because he's so I'm much family, yeah. you don't count. He don't count because I can call him when I want to and I need something. I'm, hey, man, you got somebody sent over to this show, man. Facts. No, <laughs> you're right. But, but it's like, it's more it's more to it. Like, I'm coming. If you call me and be like, I'm doing a show in Russia, I'm going to be like, we're going to be going to Russia, baby. Like, if you tell me, I got to be there. Because that's what happens when you really care about somebody. You but know from what I mean? now on, because anytime you perform in Dallas, she was mad I'm at you because be you never invited us to a show. Yeah, no, no, but after just, seeing this one, it's, it's different when you come to an open mic. I'm gonna be there. The show. Yeah, open, open mic. mic is, I, I don't ever invite people to open mic. Yeah. The open mic because I'd be like, I, you might be trying right. something, no, really? and it might not work. It might be something you trying for when you actually do a real show. So I mean, okay. you can come at your own will, but if I ain't funny that night, it's yeah. because I'm trying stuff or whatever. Because you go to open mic and do the, well, you can't do some of your old jokes if you're trying to. Perfect it or add to it or something yeah, like that. Yeah. But other than that, like open mic is like workout. Yeah, so it's yeah. better to go to a show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. so open so. mics for I thought open mics for people like if y'all just was you y'all just want to get out one night, you and your wife just like, you know what, let's just get out. And mm-hmm. then y'all just find out they got open mic for comedy, then you go to that. But I wouldn't call but you, you like say, you come to the, the open mic. You can tell the difference from between the open mic and the show. show. Right. All the cities that you have ever performed, which one was your favorite? I don't know. Because everybody 
everybody show me love. You can't that, say that. That 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 energy. You can't say that. It's that energy that you bring to the stage. Is that energy that you're gonna you get, get back? back. That's and right. I watch his energy, and his energy is real high. I did a birthday party, and I was like, "Martin, what you doing?" He said, "Nothing." I said, "Man, you coming with me?" Because yeah, I made me go up there. I his energy was, Listen, was good. Jesse and made me go up, bro. And he did. He he killed it. And I forgot to tell y'all, thank you all for coming out to the show. I think I told you. Man, that. come on, y'all, man. Y'all we know love the words that I heard man. from behind it. Because when they came, they say, it's sold out. I said, don't leave yet. Because sometimes they sell tickets. Yeah. And people don't show up. Or they like, just stick around. But when y'all came, they say, y'all here to see D-Ray? They told me, no, nah, we come to see Jesse. That's right. That's right. And That's when, right. That, when the owner them came to me, they said, man, you got some true fans out there. They said, we come to see D-Ray. We come to see Jesse McDonald. No, that's true. And it's no disrespect, but I mean... When it, you feel different when people come to see you, Jesse, come Mike to support right you. But I, I know it's. No, I'm not messing with you. Jesse got something to come. Yeah, I'm not messing with you. No, I mean I don't like just talking all the way up to the thing. It look funny, you know what I'm saying? Something that like it just up there at your face. You like, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think I, I say, hey man, you, if we can come to if, when we're down here, we're supposed to be coming quarterly. If we we're about to have a meeting right after this, right? Mm-hmm. And the yeah. next guest is the owner of the building, so they we talking about it coming down here. You tell him he need to build a handicap. Yeah. Oh, have, by the way, we finna have our tour. Me and my cousin yeah. tour. Yeah, yeah. really. Oh, and Jesse, yeah. man, we finna yeah. turn yeah. up with these yeah. kids, so yeah. they looking yeah, forward to it. it. We, we yeah. need to fly. Yeah. We made a yeah. fly. She did. She, she did made a fly for us. We finna do it. We gonna do it. We gonna do it. Me and my cousin tour. And it's gonna. He the one brought it to me, and I'm like, that'd be dope. But plenty of people said it to me already. You and your, you and Jesse need to do it. Comedy tour. And y'all gonna come to Dallas yeah. too, right? Man, we're going everywhere. Yeah, Jesse, yeah, Jesse, yeah, Jesse yeah, connects yeah, with yeah. all that. I just okay. gotta show up and show people. Because we gonna, we gonna definitely be in Dallas. If you get close to Dallas, if you're in Houston, we coming. We definitely gonna come because the man that we we speaking of Houston. I was just in Houston yesterday. Yeah, I know you were. Yeah, that man, that was epic to me to to meet Dave Chappelle, bro. What? Oh, that was man. your first time meeting him? I, I ain't shit. never met Dave Chappelle. Did he, he, he smoke any cigarettes? Man, he smoked oh. four. He smoked, he, oh, come Dave, he funny. He Dave was smoking was a whole cool? pack of cigarettes on stage. And he'd be yeah. come Super and cool. be talking to you like you having a regular conversation and be hitting you with jokes at the same time. And I had I had studied and watched his his performance he and different. I was like, it's different. Wow. Every comedian was, different. So when people are like, who's your favorite comedian? Who who do you watch the most? I just watch everybody and I put it all together and come up Thanks. with me. See, yeah. that's, that's the same for you too. Like. Yeah. No, yeah, like Chris Tucker, my favorite. The reason Chris Tucker, my favorite, like growing up, he was just it was just his energy. His he was just different. But I know I can name a whole bunch of comedians just better than him, joke for joke, like stand up wise. But I'm mm-hmm. talking about just him as a person. Yeah, like that was like, and I ain't even got to meet him yet. Like, when I, that's the I think that's the only you know that's the only celebrity I run up to and be like, hey man, you know me, man, what man, I'm running up, man, what's up? I might look, look, I got a I got a connection. I, I don't need you running up to him. Don't him. embarrass me. I don't need you to be aggressive now. Man, you know what I'm not aggressive like the dude did me. Yeah, yeah, I don't need you to be aggressive. Right? So, no, no I want to do that, man. Yeah. I didn't walk up to him like, man, I, I wouldn't even... I'm a fan. I, I, I'm a fan out. I think I might run, but I don't know. No, I, I wouldn't touch him. him. Just make sure, no, you vi- make sure you video that one so man, we all can see that. Like, great time. Hey, I'm listen, man. I you didn't finish your drink. Now it's on. Like, yeah, yeah, like he he definitely had a great time. You know. Did Jesse but, want to talk about his shirts for a second? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, I got listen, to bring Jeff, this you out, should, man. You, you know already that man come is gonna be on. <laughs> if he come in here, tell him it's gonna take me a long time to get down the ramp. <laughs> we got the pictures these, and everything. Yeah, I got these shirts right here. This first plus shirt represents the right the, policy. Okay, plus the talk. Yeah, yeah. No, this is a, no, I ain't no cut right. You can say I it. just walked this way. No, they killed that one. That ain't what that one said. Damn well, I can read. No, I'm like, what you talking about? Hold on, wait a minute. Say flush the toilet because I'm the shh. Oh, man. He brought the same shirt. No, no, no. My t shirt got messed up. Because this shirt right here is supposed to say, I ain't drunk, I just walked this way. It's supposed to because I remember the green one was that. But you know what? But you know what? I was mad because when I did come and I and I got a t-shirt. What you gonna do with that one? Let me get that. I love the pink. I love the pink, but I wish the pink said what the green said. Yeah, and see. Do say that. No, no, not in this case. I'm talking because that's actually messed up. I wish the pink said. You know, so I walk this way. Yeah, now now I get why she say I'm gonna get one in each color. I thought I ain't drunk. I just walked this way, so. Man, she wants you to get that one up. 
Was man, hey, man. Wow. When, hey, hey, when we're down here, we looking you up. When you're close to our city, you know to call me, man. We love y'all, man. Say, T Nas Myron. I'm going to shout out to my own. Shout out to my own. I'm going to say, I know I'll make you laugh. Okay. Okay, we're going to see. And I'm going to be in the crowd doing this. And guess what? I'm going to pinpoint you out. Hey, you know what, Joker? Get him. You already know. I ain't going to tell you what it is, but the one you always do on. Hey, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I got a joke. Hey, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I got a joke. I know what you're going to get her. Check yeah. it, man. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all, man. I've been shutting it down for about 20 minutes now. Okay. It's going down. <laughs> no, like, oh, she do this to me purposely, no, too. On the, on the end, look, I got, I got to send a shout out to my fiance, Trinise Day, because she's not here and she always right there by my side and she always pushing me. And she's me. wonderful. I'm mad. Yeah. She, she came by the shower. And my daughter, too, right here. TikTok. Oh, uh, really, man. <laughs> Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we Go follow me, yeah, Comedian man. Jesse McDonald.